kind of losing it a bit. Wait a minute! Alright, so I'm gonna just do a voiceover because I sound really bad. But yeah, basically I'm gonna go to the shop, uh, probably gonna do injectors on my car and spark plugs and see how it runs and after that we'll see, uh, we'll keep diagnosing it. Alright, so I'm gonna just do a voiceover for the rest of the video because I do not like how I sound. Uh, so yeah, I just got to the shop, uh, I'm getting a uh, battery pack to jump my car. Uh, I'm gonna pull it in here and then do injectors. I will need to code them since you just can't swap them in. I also have a Vanos code, so I'm gonna put new solenoids in. And then after that, we'll see if it runs good. And we'll go from there. Alright, so I got the car pulled in. As you can see, I need to go unplug the battery. So no extra fuel starts going on when um, I disconnect the fuel rails for the injectors. I gotta loosen all those 14 millimeter nuts that are on the fuel rails. And then, yeah, I'll take both sides off. Take off those little 8 millimeters that hold those grounds and the injector connectors themselves. And then we'll take them all off and yeah, we'll keep going from there. This is the injector tool I use. You just twist it on to the actual injector itself. And then that blue part, you can slide it up and down. And then yeah, you also got to remove that e torx bolt that I totally forgot about. But once you get that out the way, you can start putting the injectors up. All right, so I'm on my third injector. These are used injectors, but I do know they work. They've been used before. So I'm replacing all mine that I'm not sure which one was to work. So yeah, now I'm going to put this used one in and continue from there. So all the injectors are all in and tight. Make sure you plug in all the injector plugs and the 8 millimeter nuts. Um, I'm gonna connect the battery now and also the jumper and don't start it yet because we have to code them. All right, so here I get the tablet that my boss has that I will be using to code them. As you can see, I'm going to the menus here, um, connecting the vehicle, make sure it's a BMW. You see I click here. It's gonna read the car itself first by itself. And yeah, you just see me go through the menus. It tells me right there what the information about my car and yeah just waiting on the machine so yeah once the device uh, loads through the whole car you see I click here on hot functions injector quantity and then you just go to the menu here and then put manually enter the matching value for injectors and yes I click next and here you see it shows every single cylinder and you're just gonna have to click that little logo and write the injector code. I did mess up the first time, as you see right here. You need to put the code that's under the QR code. I had totally put the wrong number in the first time, but then uh, I had to verify with my boss which number exactly I, I put in. So he let me know it was the one under the QR code. So luckily I didn't go through the whole coding and then start the car with the wrong numbers. So yeah, just pay attention to that and then just do all of them and once you do all of them you click save and that's pretty much it so here I have already entered all the values of the new injectors I click on save and you see on the right says save successfully but just to make sure I'm pretty much I click save again just to be sure yeah you see save and then you see save successfully I exited and then that's pretty much it now I'm cleaning the van of solenoids and then I'm gonna put them in and then now the car is ready for startup and it's the biggest uh, moment of truth to see if it made my car run right so right here all I did was just erase the codes and then uh, now I'm gonna start it <laughs>
as you can probably hear right now, the car is starting to sound canned again. Uh, and I will explain why it started to sound like that again, because I had to do an extra step after I switched the van on sort of nice. I plug in MHD just to read the code. And then as you can see right now, once the camera clears up, it is a Vanos intake code. And the other one usually just triggers because of Vanos. So my boss here plugged in his Pro Tool app and he reset the adaptations of Vanos. And then you see he will start it right now and you will hear that it is sounds way better and does not go back to this camming sound. So the last clip you guys saw, I took it out for a test drive after that and it was running good until I went to full throttle. Once I went full throttle, the car started hiccuping so I knew right away that it was probably misfiring and then I was about to pull into the shop. Yeah, the check engine light popped up. I scanned it and it is a misfire code. So yeah, I'm going to do spark plugs now. And after that, I'm going to take it back out and see how it runs. All right, so she's finally running good. New injectors, new plugs, new van solenoids, mosh pit ECUs, and the car finally runs good. No more check engine lights. Just uh, the brake light, probably a brake sensor. I gotta check that out. And that's it. For being stock, this this car pulls. Uh, yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm probably gonna do suspension on this car because it does clunk a little in the rear. But yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Sleep, I'll play